How to run and stop Ansible AWX in Docker containers? I'm going to show you how to start and stop the Ansible AWX in Docker containers. You can take advantage of the AWX modern web UI and API interface, but please give a, be careful. Running in Docker containers is recommended only for experienced users and developers. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Now demo time, let's jump directly and get our hands dirty. How to run and stop Ansible AWX in Docker containers. This requires Building from scratch Ansible AWX for Docker containers that we saw in a previous lesson. So let's jump directly to the terminal and let's have a lot of fun. Welcome to my terminal. I'm already inside my AWX source code directory. So let's start the container with make docker compose command. This instantly triggers the execution of an Ansible playbook that is taking care of starting all the necessary container and dependencies. As you can see, you can clearly see that there are some configuration about Postgres SQL from secret key and parameter for the web UI. So everything now is getting ready. And after this Docker Compose, uh, the containers are getting spin up. The execution is going to take a while and I really recommend... Uh, here we go. We have a Redis, Postgres and AWX that is spinning at the moment. Redis is a key value database that is used for uh, communication purposes between uh, inside the container and Postgres is the database where all the important data about uh, the configuration, uh, the things that need to be persistent is stored. On top of that, we have the tools AWX container that is uh, really where everything in, of AWX is running. So also the Nginx, the web server and a lot of components. Also there are two container, oh no, three container for receptor that have some hop node and some executor. These containers are very important for the execution. As you can see, the uh, terminal now is connected directly to the standard output of these containers. So you are able to see all the connection between uh, the containers. And this is a great thing for developers, not a lot for real user but you need to wait some moment till the service are spinning up so be patient wait some minutes and it's going to take uh, also here we have a syslog service for logging the messages between the containers and everything is very important once you saw that the messages are getting slower you can start uh, using it so how to use it well the most common way is to access via the web interface and start sending some command to your AWX system. Okay, now we got uh, the private key was uh, not defined, so it's using the, the standard uh, with uh, self signer certificate. And I think that now all the services are ready to be uh, to listen, so we are ready to move on to the web interface. Welcome to my browser. Now let's connect to the Ansible AWX interface. This is running on the localhost because the container is running on localhost port 8043. You might receive an error because it's a self signer certificate and we got the login screen. Now you probably ask, what is the default username and password? There isn't any. You should create manually your super user, the one that has all the privilege to access this system. So basically, everything 
is uh, setting up because if you are seeing this uh, web page, it means that a web server is running, the web application behind uh, is running, and all the services are effectively running. And what if we want to stop everything? Welcome back to the terminal. I'm going to show you how to safely stop all the services. Please notice that there is an output of a web server directly on the console. The safest way is to press Ctrl C only one time and you can see that the stop command is sent over to all the six containers. It starts with the receptor 1, 2, the hop node, AWX, Postgres and in the end Redis. Now we got back our prompt, so this system is turned off, so we can run again the make docker compose to run the system as many times as you want. The data will be persistent because it uh, was stored in PostgreSQL, so everything is sorted out. Till the docker container resides in your system, you have everything uh, available. So yay! Great, we did! Now you know how to run and stop Ansible AWX in Docker containers as many times as you wanted. So feel free to experiment, to try the modern UI, the API and whatever pop up in your mind. Thank you for watching and I hope this lesson was useful for you and you can move forward in the next lesson. Let's automate more! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.